welcome back to our channel. A channel about cross stitch we are and other miscellaneous things other miscellaneous things we hope that you if you've just joined us for the first week thank you if you are a repeat customer that comes back <laughs> and sees us every week thanks for spending some time with us because we know that there is a lot that you are busy people yes. and it's, you have a lot to do so thanks for spending some time with us each week we know you have a hoot and a holler with us we hope you do we hope you do and we are excited to uh talk to you we have a lot to talk about today kind of some some a lot of things that a we lot need to cover things. okay but first we're going to start with our more exciting subject and that is the baby and if you guys follow us on insta stories let's first say that Stephen, okay my husband's out of town right yes, now. yes yes he's gone he didn't abandon me completely he just abandoned me for a few days. Yeah, he went with some friends. They invited Catherine to go yeah, as well. I was invited to go to on a boating trip to Lake Powell. And Lake Powell's amazing. You should look up pictures. It's so beautiful. It is, but it's 110, you know. It's 110 degrees. It's on a bumpy boat. Yeah, she just, at this and point. I was convinced I would go into labor in the middle of nowhere and have to give birth in the middle of a lake. This is a quick story. <laughs> When I was pregnant with my first child, Jason, we were living on the coast of Northern California. Right. And I was done. I was ready to have the baby. Yeah. So we drove one of the fish trucks. I went with Dave. And no. we drove it to San Francisco. And that was back. It was a big old cab. And the seat went all the way across. And you know the road. The road is this windy. Long and windy road. It's just a two-lane road. And it does switchbacks. And I was all over the cab. Oh my that, gosh. And I was so sore. We did a similar thing with the moving van. Yes, you did. On yeah. that road. On that road, yeah. So I thought it would send me into labor. Yeah. But it didn't. But anyway, but I, I was sure sore. Cause yeah. I, <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt, but that well, was kind a of a good story. Story. Okay, go ahead. So I didn't go, but I wanted to see, he loves Lake Powell. So I said, go to Lake Powell, have some fun. And he did. And he did. He's so still I've been there. spending most of my time here with Debbie. Yeah. And Dave. And what else? Well, and so as a result of that, we've done a lot of baby things so together. So we've done, if you've been following Debbie's Instagram, Snug Harbor Crafts, we've been doing a lot of Insta stories. We kind of got some stuff into the nursery. We got the rocking chair and the chest dresser. Of, yeah, je chest of drawers. Yep. Yeah. And so that's exciting. That was great. That was so good. It's the nicest chair. It is. It's a good chair. But I told if her. If you had to pick a chair to sit on for hours. She's going to be in that chair a lot. You'd pick that chair. Yeah. So that's a good one. That, yeah. I'm so thrilled. I had not seen it till you got it delivered. That's right. Yeah. So that was exciting. So that's... Debbie tested it out. Dave has tested it out. <laughs> Stephen will soon test has it out. Has Harley check tested it No. Out? I need oh. to put Harley in it. She hasn't sat in it. Okay. But right. we put the quilt that was yeah, given to me. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. On the, on on the, the chair. chair. It will go on the crib, but the crib yeah. isn't up yet. Yeah. No. No. Stephen has to put that together. Stephen is in charge of putting the crib together. I'm gonna buy the get her. I'm okay. gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Okay. So we got that done. Um, what else? And then we we uh, uh, we had to go to the doctor's appointment. So you might want to explain so, to me. So yeah, so last week, um, I'm gonna make sure it's still recording. Because everyone's texting me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so like last week, literally right after it was right after we had filmed. We had said we had gone to the doctor. Debbie came to the doctor with me because Stephen had to work. And, and and she did all of her glucose, you know. I did my glucose test. And the, that we did that on Insta Stories. Yeah, and we did, and you did all And the, it wasn't even bad, you guys. No, the glucose test was so much better. It tasted oh. just like Kool-Aid. Oh, my I loved heck. it. And it wasn't much. I mean, it was a lot, but. But, but it wasn't like that. Mm -mm. You know, I mean, it was just, anyway, it was, it was turned out so much better than Kefren thought. So much better. And then they also did blood work. Yeah. And we were a little worried because I, I've had blood, high blood pressure in the past, but I got it down. 
but my high blood pressure has been coming back. Which and is so, typical. Yeah. So they um, tested me for preeclampsia. And so Wednesday rolls around, the day after we filmed, and I get a phone call from my nurse, and she's like, you passed with flying colors. Yeah, glucose test, no problem. So I was not like amazed. She was like, and you don't have preeclampsia. She said those words to me. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so she doesn't have gestational diabetes. And I don't have gestational if, if, if diabetes. If you wonder what that means. Anyway, so yeah, and she said the words, which, which is different than just hypertension. But anyway, go ahead. It is. Yeah, go ahead. So, so that was great. I was like, I texted Dave and Debbie. I texted Steven. I was like, I'm free. Like, I good. was so, you guys, if I had had gestational diabetes. Oh, Things would have been bad. It would have been really, oh, I don't know. She would have had to have changed her diet completely. Like, you wouldn't believe the things I eat. Yeah. So, anyway. So, we're, we're grateful for we're that. We're grateful. So, I was so happy. Things were great. <clears throat> and then, around, like, 3 o'clock, I get a phone call from maternal fetal med medicine. And I was like, why in the heck is the hospital calling me? And I didn't even answer it. You did? Oh, okay. Because you didn't think it was anything. I was like, why would they be called? It looked like a hospital number, but I didn't know. But you weren't for sure. Yeah, okay. And we've get, been getting so many telemarketers. So anyway, they leave a message and they're like, hi, this is blah, blah, blah. I'm calling because we need to get you in for an ultrasound as soon as possible. And we need to schedule a bunch more ultrasounds and non-stress tests like every week for the rest of your pregnancy. I mean, that's crazy. To, and, and, for and some, I was like, did they ha get the wrong person? I thought maybe they did. I thought maybe they'd call. And, and her other, and the other nurse of her doc, this is a different place, didn't say anything totally about Totally different. This. Yeah. They're like yeah. right down the hallway from each other, but totally different doctor. Yeah. So I'm like, what in the Sam Hill? So I, I you guys, I can't even talk without getting out of breath anymore. <laughs> Um, so we... Did you call him back? So I called my nurse back. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because so I'm like, what? This is obviously an error. Yeah, I did. I thought it was. So I'm texting Debbie while I'm on hold. I'm on hold for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Waiting for her. And I'm like, mom, what is going on? Why is this happening? And I think I even said... I'm I convinced they... the baby's dead. Yeah, yeah. Poor Kath. I, I thought they called the wrong number. But anyway, go ahead. So, I call, and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I should have said something. Well, yes. I'm like, I've never had a kid. What am I supposed to do? Like, I don't know anything about this stuff. She's like, you don't have preeclampsia, but you have high blood pressure. You have gestational hypertension, and now we just have to really watch you, and you're going to be induced early. So, you won't be going till you're, to your due date. Yeah, and so I'm like, uh, and they threw all of that on her. I'm like, what? This is not okay. First of all, it's my biggest fear to be induced. Yeah, she wanted to go next. I mean, it's she my biggest fear to even freaking give birth. But being induced just really adds a whole nother level for me. Because it, it is harder if you wanted to try and, and go naturally. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's harder even if you don't go naturally. It's hard. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to go nat. Like, it would be nice if I could but go natural. But we kind of thought of it. We've talked about it. Yeah. Okay. And so, because I'm always like, I had really bad cramps. You're going to learn a lot about me. Yeah, this is too much information. But I've anyway. had really bad cramps. And like, you know, I can get through them. Yeah. She's tough. She really is. Yeah. But it's not fun. So I'm like, how how much worse can it be? And and, and it's more intense. I know, it? but it comes and goes. But it comes and goes. And I, I did it naturally, so I sort of feel like maybe she could. Yeah, and maybe. also, she doesn't like shots, so she wouldn't love an epidural. Oh, why would I ever want someone to shoot something into my spine? It's very, it kind of, yeah. So anyway, so we're thinking about all these things, and now she's like, oh, you've got to be induced. And... I'm like, holy crap, I've just heard bad stories. Some women love to be induced because yeah. they're like, oh, tomorrow I'm going in so I can shower right now. You can prepare and kind of be I ready. I can put self-tanner on and get my eyelashes <laughs> done. And I'm like, I don't give a rat's about any of that. I just need to get this baby out of me. That's right. <laughs> and I wouldn't even like sleep. 
Yeah, if I, I, and I would be that way too. Yeah. I would just be like, holy crap, tomorrow, I have to give yeah, birth tomorrow. Yeah. In some ways, if you just go into labor, it, it's, you It know. just like happens. Yeah, And I like agree. your body slowly adjusts to yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. I get you. Okay, you guys. so keep going. So I freak out. And she's like, oh, and so now you have to come in every single week on top of my regular appointments. Yeah, but they'd only been on the phone. They'd only been on the phone. So, my next two appointments were going to be over the phone. Yes. With my regular doctor. But now I have to go in almost every, I have to go in every week. And they do a non-stress test with her. Which they say is not bad. I mean, it's just, it's just, they just are monitoring the baby's heart rate. And so obviously this whole weekend I've been a mess. She's just been worried sick. And cause I don't know anything about this. And then I've like talked to some of my friends and they have, I've talked to one friend and she has hypertension and she is induced three weeks early. So at 37 weeks, they induce her. That so would mean August. people. That That's like tomorrow. <laughs> Does anybody realize that? Okay. But we don't know if that's what would happen with Cap. But obviously but the, everyone's different, but, but that's just like, I thought I had till September 15th. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It, I, I under, and we're trying to get her through school and stuff, you know? So, and this young lady, the lady, this young lady, the gal you spoke to, this was her third baby. So that's kind of good to know. Yeah. She's had that three was, kids. Yeah. And she's been fine. And the, she loves to be induced. The babies blah, are blah, fine. Blah. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So you, so, so then Monday, she, yesterday she has so to So then go, I'm, I'm like convinced that the baby is like not growing. Cause that, the, 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 with, with gestational hypertension, the baby doesn't grow as much. If you have gestational diabetes, it grows too much. It grows too much. So anyway, so they're worried about the baby not growing. So Monday, yesterday, we so go in. So yesterday we go in. For an ultrasound. We do. And oh. I haven't seen the baby in so long. Yeah, yeah. And so Debbie came with me because once again, Stephen was gone. <laughs> and I was thrilled. I know. I, I, secretly, I was happy because I wanted Debbie to go for I an ultrasound. I wanted to go for an ultrasound, yeah. Because Stephen yeah. would be like adamant that he goes. Yeah, so it was yeah. kind of like a blessing. And now there will be so many. He can He'll go. He'll go to him. Yeah. He's been to some. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not like that girl that like has to have her husband at her side for no, every single thing. That's right. I mean, he has to be there for labor, but that's it. <laughs> anyway, so we go. Oh. And he was just the cutest little baby. He was just so grown up. I mean, <laughs> he was like ready to go to college. I tell ya. <laughs> it's really interesting because the one thing they use on the ultrasound you just see the skeletal structure. Yes. And then all of a sudden she like changed a wand. She changes to a different wand and then it's dimensional. And it was the craziest thing we've It was ever this seen. little face, this little baby. Like he had cute little cheeks. He had the cutest little nose. The cutest nose. Kefren's nose. And his little mouth he was all kind of mushed. Like, you know, I don't know. He I was can't darling. believe that that thing is inside of him. Well, he, he had a personality sort of. He did. Don't, he he was just singing. <laughs> He was so but happy. He was just so <laughs> he was very active and 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 he's grown just fine. He's totally fine. He's great. He's just doing great. He still has long legs. Yes, yeah, still has long legs. Oh, and we checked for hair. We checked for hair. He she, doesn't he's bald right now. He's bald. He hasn't started his hair growth yet. No. But she said, Don't worry. Yeah, she's like, Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if he comes out bald. I'm just curious. <laughs> We don't care about the and hair. And the girl that did our ultrasound, she was pregnant with her first baby. And, and it's a boy, too. And she's due a month before me. So I was like, tell me honestly, <laughs> do you give yourself an ultrasound at the end of every day? We did. She said, I would. Yeah, yeah. She was like, well, I try not to do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally do it every but day. She said if people come in and there's issues, I think, oh, maybe I should just take a peek. Yeah. That's how she <laughs> looks. She was so sweet. She was so nice. And, and then we had, and, and, and then just tell them about the doctor. Yeah, I'll briefly say the doctors don't come in right now because, because of, of COVID. COVID. And so she's like, okay, well, like I got all the measurements. Like, let me go talk to the doctor and I'll come back in. And all of a sudden the doctor's at the door. <laughs> so it's like, and I'm oh. like, oh my gosh, what's wrong now? Yeah. Oh. And, um, he immediately says her name. He says, you know, Kefren. And I was like, that's weird, because he didn't call me by my first name. Because she, in her, in her medical records, records, it's Amanda. Yeah. I mean, it says my preferred name is a Kefren yes, on but, most things, but well, yeah. they call me Amanda. 
And he's like, you know, I've only known one Kefrin in my life. And we both, we were both done. I was like, oh, here we go. Like, it's going to be we, some random story. Oh, we thought he's been to Egypt. Yeah. And he's been to the, the, the pyramids. Okay. And he's like, and she worked for so and so, and I'm like, no flipping way. And then she said, "Is your and name? like we all obviously have our masks yeah, on, so I yeah. can't like." And he has glasses on. I'm like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm so and so." And I was like, "Get out of town!" I totally. I've been to his house before. It was so funny. I had no idea that he did like. What is I don't well, know. Well, he job. must read the the ultra the he fetal must, ultrasounds. Yeah. Is he maybe a radiologist? I don't... He, that specializes in babies? In babies? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Yeah, but honestly, he was the We nicest. were dead. He just wanted to talk and talk. We talked forever. Debbie was dying. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. We were seriously dead on the floor. They, 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 he, she, she, he knew the person she had worked for, and there was a lot of catching up to Yeah. Me. Like, I had spent so much of my life with them. And, and so he, and he knew all the updates, sort of. So yeah. it was fun And then to we talk found out that he knows my uncle really well. Yeah. Stephen's yeah. uncle. Who's a radio... Uh, or a, a urologist. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, it was just, you guys, it was crazy. And, like... And he was like, oh, you're fine. He really calmed our fears about... Yeah. About the the, the about the hyper, high blood pressure. Yeah, hypertension. I was like, what is happening here? Yeah, and, and he's he was like, like no big stress. deal. Yeah, you're fine, you know. So and I was like, should I be walking? And he's like, yes, keep walking. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, he, he I, I don't know, he was just very reasonable about it. And he like kept talking and the nurse finally came and was like, Doctor, you need like <laughs> we have people waiting. <laughs> and then he leaves and then he comes back <laughs> in. <laughs> It was crazy. It was really funny. Nicest man in the Nicest whole world. man in the whole world. Yeah. And how, how, what are the odds? What are the, and, he, and he even said, he's like, if I had looked at, just looked at your chart, I wouldn't have known it was you. But then he looked on the computer and saw Kefren. Yeah. And then he knew. What the heck? I was so funny. Anyway, it was a great experience. And we're so glad. It just really put our fears to rest. It was. I yeah. mean, I'm still horrified to be induced. But, but she's, but she, you know, the baby. We're taking that as it comes. The baby was doing great. Everything like that. So we yeah. just, we wanted you all to know, in case she goes into labor early, that yes. you will know why. And, Correct. Um, Anyway, but she is, uh, she's doing great. So. And we also found, okay, so when I went into labor and delivery a few weeks ago, oh. <laughs> they showed us a labor room, because we weren't in one, obviously, and there were windows, and I'm like, oh my gosh, my Debbie mom. can come to the window. And I can stand outside the window. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so upset that Debbie can't be there. And I'm like, I'm hoping that maybe like Stephen and Debbie could switch off. We're hoping we can switch. So Stephen will be with her. Then I can go yeah. in. Then Stephen could go in. Anyway. I don't know if that's going to work. We're, we'll have to see. But we will make it work. <laughs> they, and will, so, they will want me there. And so I was like, oh my gosh. Debbie can stand at the window. <laughs> and so then we like go. And it was like midnight by the time we left. So I didn't think about it. And then we go. I'm like, mom, we've got to check out the windows. <laughs> And there's like this huge gap. It's a it's on the third floor or something. No, second floor. It says that it's on like when well, you walk in, you're on the first floor. Yeah, but it says so. It's there's this. I have to bring a, a giant room, ladder. A giant ladder. But to, you know what? We're willing to do it. <laughs> so Debbie's gonna be propped up on a ladder. I'll be yelling instructions through the window. She will breathe. <gasps> Wait, that was kind of funny when we realized that. But that I'm very was, upset about that. Yeah, but we'll, we'll work through it. So anyway, you guys, that's our update on the baby. That is the baby update. And Kefrin. And if you went to our Insta stories. I, we posted post a picture. I'll try and put a picture in here if I remember. Yeah. So anyway, it was really, it, it's really fun. He honestly was so cute. It was, it was wild. It, it, he just looks so, it just brings it, makes it so much more real. You it know? does. So anyway, and he was real active and, you know. So cute. So cute. So anyway, um. We need to talk about... Oh, dear. We're just rushing right into this, huh? Well, I don't know. Is there something else you want to talk I about? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's first, let's mention Linda, Blue Horse Yellow Cat. Oh, yeah. We wanted to mention, and I hope she doesn't care. Maybe, I think she's okay, because she put it on Instagram, right? Yeah. Okay. Linda's daughter, Blue Sarah. Blue Horse Yellow Cow. Her daughter, S-K-A Leather. Yeah. S-K-G Leather. S-K-G Leather. S-K-G Leather. Darling, cute so gal. Cute. They these guys were gonna meet at 
stitch con we were and then she kind of let us know a little before everybody else yeah that, that she, she was pregnant she was pregnant and that, that uh, she wouldn't be coming to stitch con and we felt so bad you know because i was like gosh fun. dang it i really wanted to meet because then right after that we told them i think that yeah. you were pregnant anyway and so she um is due right now so we're kind of waiting she said she was going to go off instagram for a while so we're waiting for linda to tell us if, yes uh, it's linda's first grandbaby yeah, it's linda's first grandbaby we're so excited i don't know that we know what it is i don't think i know i don't know that they've ever posted that and maybe they're waiting some yeah. people like to right. wait i and don't that's, know how you wait i don't know that'd be hard you have but, way more patience than i know. i mean uh, that's uh, uh, we i didn't really know i mean my first one i had no idea there were not We were talking about that, how like, what if you had had hypertension? You never would have known really. Or, yeah. or like, well, of course my blood pressure would have been high. Right? Yeah, but what about, but then how would, they, how would they monitor the baby? You right? never had a glucose test. Never had a glucose test. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that weird? Yeah, I I'm sure all of it is just- How are we all alive? I know, seriously. But anyway, so, so we're waiting to we're find out. We're excited for Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's due any day. And I think we spoke to Linda. Yet. We didn't speak to her. We, but we texted, texted her. her. And I think yesterday was her due date. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're thrilled for them. Can't wait to find out what, what she's having. And we feel bad because Linda and her husband have kind of quarantined. I know. It's, it's a hard time. And I think right before Keth, we're going to try and quarantine a little bit. I don't know how you will. I don't know. It's going to be hard. It's going to be, everything's going to be fine, you guys. Uh, we're just trying to be careful. I had a shot so that Daddy I get, got her shot. I got my whooping cough shot yeah. because um, they like you to have, it's been a many, a million years, right? And they give me also, uh, it's the uh, tetanus. tetanus that with it. So anyway, so that it's okay for me to be around the baby. Yeah. So anyway. Um, so we wanted to say that We're about very pleased. Linda and Sarah, and we will, we'll keep you guys posted if we hear anything. Yeah. So anyway, that's the other thing. And then now we need to move on. Okay. To, we, we, I've talked, we've talked and we talked talk and, and talked talk. every talk, every day we talk and we talk about it and I go back and what forth. What do we talk about? <laughs> And, and I've actually spoken to Little Stitch Girl, which I haven't spoken to you oh, about. Oh, you didn't tell me that. But I, um, she and I were kind of talking about doing another, having her do a stitch for our uh, retreat. retreat. And she kind of needed to get going on it. So she and I talked about it. And um, we have decided, Catherine and I have decided, that we will not be holding the retreat this year. Oh! <laughs> I didn't decide that. I I feel that it is the best decision. After it after, is the best decision, people. After all of everybody's comments back. But a lot of you guys were like, screw it. What yeah. comment? But I would feel but what if? Yeah, I would feel terrible if someone if, like, got If someone sick. got COVID while we were there and then the whole group got COVID. I, I, and then all of you would be like, we're unsubscribing from yeah, Snug Harbor they, Craft. I, I, I they are terrible people. I don't want to be responsible to, for having somebody get sick. And, I, and, and we just don't know how it's going to, like everyone says it's going to be terrible it just makes in us, the fall. It's again. getting so much worse right now. And here in Utah, we're getting a lot of cases. We're getting many more than we had before. Because we're not really quarantined anymore. Right. You know, it's summer. It's hard. It I don't know hard. how the kids are doing. If I had little kids, my heart goes out to you. Yeah. This would be hard. So, and big kids, teenagers. I don't know how you All do All the it. kids. Yeah. So, uh, we're I, really sad. I did not want to cancel it, but I also didn't want to get a bunch of money and then have to give it back to yeah. you guys. And I didn't, so I felt, and I felt that we should, it would be better to be safe than sorry. I agree. And so we decided that we are canceling the retreat. Oh. And we do feel awful. Knife oh. in the heart. Somebody said, why don't you social distance us? And I, It's I, just not. I can't do that. Like I mean, what? There would be like four people on a table. Not even four people. There would be like two people on a table. Yeah. I, I, I just don't. And, and I can't stop you. You're all adults. If we're all in a room together, how can we? So yeah. It would just be really hard. And so I don't want to. Somebody said, what if someone came and we got sick? And I don't know. So I just felt that it was best if we cancel it. Just as the others have. Just to be safe. It's just that year. I'm sorry. We just have to do we just have to, um, I, I'm, I'm sad. I'm very it's sad. Terrible. And so we are canceling the retreat. But, but we're people, we're talking about, there is hope. Yeah. 
We're, we're all about hope here, okay? This channel is a channel of hope. Hope anchors the soul. Hope anchors the soul, everyone. So we, we will probably, we're trying. It depends. What depends? The, the spring. Oh, the, the spring. spring. Um, about a COVID again, but we are, we, we have a place in mind. It would be a completely different kind of retreat. Totally different experience than the big retreat. Yeah. It would be just, we would be in these, they're beautiful. It's a giant home. It's a giant cabin in Sundance, Utah. Yeah. And, and, and we could get other houses that we are can, really close by, they're, you know, right next to each other essentially. Yes. And we're, we're talking about that, and we do that in the spring. It would be more expensive because it would include your lodging and all of your yeah. meals. Yeah, because you all stay in the same, we stay, yeah. all stay together like in a big giant house. Correct. So, um, it so would, it'll be different. It won't be like in a, a, a hotel correct. kind of a thing. And you won't, you know, you couldn't go out and shop and but stuff. But it would be really cozy. It's very cozy, yeah, and it's beautiful. And we would have, like, it, it would be a very luxurious retreat. Yeah, it really, they're beautiful, beautiful. She went there for a, uh, like, an executive retreat. Yeah. So um, we're talking about that. She's spoken to them about that, and we will we will get on top of that. The baby would be older by then. Yeah. Um, and so it would be good. I And I also felt sick. What if I got sick at the retreat, and then I couldn't help her. I don't know. There's I just, just a lot that plays into it. Yeah. So I. So we are not doing the snug. But harbor. if you do have like dates in mind for a spring retreat, let us know. Yeah, and we will keep you posted on that. We've got a long time before then, but that's Correct. that's something. And, and then we would do the fall retreat. The again. fall retreat would happen again, just like we did a just year like, ago. Yes. So and it would be. The best retreat ever. Yeah, and again, we'd be in Salt Lake City. So and that's what we're we also planning. have something else up our sleeve that we're not going to talk about, but it will be this fall. Okay, and we're and we're trying to pull it together. So it's we'll, going to be epic. Ju ju but just just a hoo ha de doo da. Demi can never be excited for anything. <laughs> Anyway, oh yes, I get excited. But anyway. she gets excited for everything. But, but when it's her thing, yeah. So we have she to just, downplays it. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't, you know. Anyway, okay. So, you guys, um, that's what's happening. We have Let us know your thoughts. We're we, sick about it. We are sick about it. I feel terrible. We have nightmares every night. Because we had the best place. We should just book them again for the We're next year. We're going to. Because it was a really, it's a great hotel. Much more space than we had. At Tons the, more space. Great, great spot in Farmington, but not enough room. So, yeah. this is, has a lot more room. It'd be more central. And it'd be, it's like five minutes from the airport. Yeah, five so, minutes from the airport. It would be I mean, great. it's amazing yeah so um anyway so there you go we wanted to talk about that um we wanted to talk about um everybody we did on let's just talk about the recipe for a minute we yes. did the cheesy chicken on my insta stories and then Kefren took a, a screenshot of it <coughs> i did and she posted it on the stories right i did and, and so if you want the recipe i'll it's put there. it under a highlight i think there's a highlight on you here look. if you go to debbie's actual instagram page there, oh, there is a highlight yeah. that says oh salad oh okay should i put it under that i'll yeah. change, i'll change the name of it and um put recipes and okay. you can go and screenshot it it's delicious because we're also going to include we'll include the homemade ice cream recipe oh <gasps> that's right okay. you guys we still have so much to talk about i know so we are we're getting ready for the fourth of july my new tiered tray. We'll Debbie's new tiered tray. And all of my uh, my um, chalk couture stuff. We'll talk about it later. But you guys, the 4th of July is Saturday. So we will, she went outside. Oh, did she? And so we will, um, We uh, my homemade ice cream recipe, I mean, everybody's got one, right? But it's just. It's, it's just, the best recipe. It's though. cream and sugar and eggs. And you have to cook it because of the eggs. So you, you cook the eggs and the milk together. And then um, it goes in, and then we will we will include that recipe. I've literally been craving it for the past two months. So Kath has talked about, and my grandson the other day came over and said, "Grandma, we're having homemade ice cream, aren't we?" And I said, "Yes, on the fourth of July we'll have homemade ice cream." So we'll watch our fireworks in the front of our house. I wonder if we should do two batches. I wondered. And I'm also wondering if we should put root beer in one of them. Oh. But 
you could just do vanilla and do a root beer float. You could also do that because you're but, more traditional. But I thought that we should, I thought we should do two batches because we're going to have a, more a lot of people. Yeah. So we are going to make homemade ice cream for the 4th of July. We'll include that recipe also. We will. Okay, so we wanted to talk about And that. if you're a member of our Facebook group, we'll post all the recipes there. Okay. Okay. Ta-da. All right. Okay. It's a good recipe. Debbie has an easier recipe that I we do. might post. You guys, it's It's good. disgusting. No, no, no. It is so gross. It's so good. No, it tastes like pudding. <laughs> but if you want to avoid all the muss and the fuss, you and this, the eggs. And the eggs and cooking, you just do cream and sugar and milk and a thing of pudding. white chocolate pudding. And you put it in there and then freeze it. It tastes like a diaper. I think it tastes fabulous. Okay. <laughs> but I get it. Do but you? I do. I get it. The, the, the one that I cook, it tastes more like the old fashioned ice cream. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So anyway. All right. It takes me back to be a pioneer. Yes. a pi <laughs> Remember when you did it in the fourth grade? Yeah, when and you we roll rolled it. it. You can take a bag, you guys, and put a mason jar in there and yeah. fill it with the ice cream mixture and then put ice around it in another bag and seal it. And, and the kids, it. kids would roll it and make the ice cream. It was good. It was very good. It really was. We'd also do that with butter. Oh, we put wow. cream in, but we shake it. Wow. Remember? I feel like I've done that before. You have done that too. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, those are some of my little things. All right, we did the hard the hard story. We did. Um, now let's talk about cross stitch and what Kefren has been doing. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, and I you haven't even had any of your drink. I have. I have. have you? Yeah. First of all, I wonder. We wonder what you guys are thinking about for Christmas in July. Yeah. A lot of people choose to do a bunch of ornaments in July, Jolly July. Um, and last year, did I do a bunch of? Or maybe I did James's ornament. Is your hand falling asleep? No, it's itching from something from, I don't know. Harley? Harley, I think. But anyway. Um, I you did something weird last year. But didn't I do James's ornament, the gardener? Maybe. The, the pr pr that sounds right. Yeah, I might have done that. So anyway. And maybe some Lizzie Kate ornaments. Oh, I might have. Oh, I think I did. I think you did. Yeah, some smaller ones that I, I had. Yeah, did. okay. So anyway, this Jolly July... Um, which is tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, tomorrow. This is June the 30th. I've decided Kefren has her own Jolly July. I do have my own Jolly July. I am going to work on, and I was just going to pull it out so you could see where I was at. I'm going to work on my sleigh. We don't need to show it again, but there it is. What okay. is it, Nora Corbett? Nora Corbett, the sleigh, Santa's sleigh, which I have set aside because I. It's so pretty. It is beautiful, but I need to work on it again. So I'm going to devote some time to the to that. And can I just say, tell us, Rika's bag. Rika, why are you leaving? Rika's leaving, you guys. Rika, but, stay here. I, you I want what? your car. <laughs> Maybe she, you could just use it while she's gone. Mm -hmm. We won't. She doesn't need to take it to Germany. No, she isn't. She sold it. Oh, she did. And I said, Debbie and I are on our way to come and get it. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Rika makes, I'm telling you honestly, They're the you best guys, bags. They're amazing. But she she probably is. House of Stitch and Stash. House of Stitch and Stash. She's probably not going to make any for a while. Her, we although, don't know that. That's true. She was keeping her sewing machine. Okay, now everybody while we're here. What do we think about a 2022... European cross stitch retreat. Okay. All right. 2022. Why not? Okay. I'm. I. There's several people that have contacted. I think that we could do it. Okay. Switzerland. Right. Oh, so that's that'd be really cool. And we have Rika several. will come. Yeah, Rika will help She'll us. She'll scope out the thing. It'll yeah. be a dual. Like we could get the twins. Oh, we could. The twins. Twin Peak Primitives. We can start saving our money now. Okay. That's why I'm saying 2022. Okay. Okay. Like, really, that's just, like, tomorrow, basically. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? That's not a bad. A 2022 is, yeah. My yeah. child will be a little older, but could, still could sit on my lap on the way there. Yep. Not have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. are your thoughts? Interesting. Let us know, people. Hey, Rika. Rika, you're on call now. To start She's working. on call. There, it would be like, 
There are a lot and of the people. Swiss Alps. Yeah, there's there's we'll cross stitch, but we will also what will we do? We will also go see places around Switzerland. Okay. <laughs> Maybe end up in Italy. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> but also cross stitch. Okay. Okay. There will be cross stitching involved. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That while is... we're on the train. Okay. While we're on the train to yeah. Italy. That's right. We could just cross stitch. We could cross stitch. Okay. I'm yeah. just saying, maybe Italy won't be involved, but how fun would that be? Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. we're all cross stitching in the Swiss Alps. Oh. With a yodeler. Oh, the yodeler. And yes. those big, di what are they called? The things that. Mm -hmm. Those yes. horns, those long yes. horns. Yeah, yeah. They'll be right next to And us. somebody would feed us Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese will be involved. <laughs> okay. And yes. Swiss chocolate. Oh, yes. And yes. maybe even a Swiss army knife. Oh, okay. And to cut our strings. <laughs> That's right. Because Swiss army knives have scissors. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Stop. Okay, you guys. I'm, we're serious. Though. I know. Okay, that would be fun. And Rico, I, it would be so fun. To she could scope out the area. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, back to Jolly July. In Jolly July, <laughs> oh, I'm going to work on the sleigh. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to work on, and you don't need to show these, but these don't People show People want to see them. No, no, no. I've shown them too much. Sit no. down. People want to see them. This is the night. Twice the night before Christmas. Twice the night before Christmas. I have six JBW Design. That's correct. I have six done, and I was going to try and get some done for to take back to Jan, our finisher, at StitchCon, but I, I'll end up... So this is my deal, you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and finish. So I've got six. There's seven, eight, nine. There's 12. So I started on this one. I want to get these three done. Okay. And there's the... For Jolly July. This is with a sleigh full of toys. Which I've started. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came. In a twinkling of an eye, I heard on the roof. Yeah, so I'll try. Oh, I feel like Christmas is tomorrow, everybody. Okay, so I'll try. I'm going to work on those in Jolly July. And I mean, you're almost finished with one of them. Yeah, and my sleigh. Okay, now. Okay. This has been so fun. Okay, it's been interesting. I have make felt ornaments as you guys uh, felt ornaments felt stockings as you guys all know and it's been a tradition my mother started it i have a niece um my sister's daughter who does it now and now we've got kef doing it and so she is I'm making a not, I'm not a professional she has it's been she has loved it okay come over here i will and, say it's much more satisfying than cross stitch because you get a finished product much faster. Okay, come over here. Okay. In my oh, life. do you want to show that first? Okay, this is the stocking. Here's the stocking. It's Fusilla. It had a hank, Kyle. <laughs> it was our first experience with a good hank. And we divided up those that hank into different colors and And it's really nice because it has like it comes with the whole instruction manual thing. And it's like, oh, everything is numbered. Yeah, you just don't, you don't have to, like with cross stitch, counting all those little squares. Every, when I'm cross stitching, I'm like, did I miss a stitch? Yeah. Did I forget one? Yeah. What's happening? Okay. Blah, blah, So blah. we got her started and she immediately took to it. Yeah, I love it. Like I'm thinking. But I really botched something. Well, and so we're, we're going to, we're going to fix it. And we needed you here. And. And you deserted us. Our dear Anne that also makes beautiful she stockings. She does zillions of stockings. Yeah, she has made many more than I have. So I'll just show you this part, okay? Look at how beautiful that is. Kef has done all of this and has just really, really, she loves the sequence. Okay, so the first present went well. I'm going to cover this one up. And then the second present went well. And then the top of the red present went well. And then somehow I just really screwed up the bottom. But there is a present that could go over that that bottom edge. Yeah, but I still think it would look bad. I, I don't. I, I, I think I need to take. Can you guys tell? But if the other present goes, this over corner it, goes longer than this corner. And the problem is for me is when I'm holding it, it's real. I'm so used to having a hoop. 
Yeah, and you have to just that bunch like it. makes it tight. Yeah, and so you and so I have to bunch it, and then the felt is so like malleable. Yeah, it doesn't just yeah yeah. I can stretch it and not realize I'm stretching it. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Maybe if we had some straight pins, I wonder if that would help. I don't know. But I mean, you've done fine. But either way, the red gift was too long. It's going like. A half an a half an inch. I don't know. I'm not no. good with this, but it's going over number thirteen. Oh. So I think the other present will cover it up, and you won't notice that it is skewed. But even I don't know, you guys. It's so hard. Anyway, we're gonna work it out. But, but Kef, it looks cute. I mean, Kef come done, on. It's my she, first one. She has done a really you good job. You can't be too rude. And tell them that you love doing the sequence. I the sequence is my favorite part. Isn't that funny? Because it's kind of tedious. I love it. But she just has done a great job. It thrills my soul. Yeah. So there you go. This is Kefren's Jolly July. This is my Jolly July. Okay. It has to be ready because Santa will be here this year. That's right. For my child. Yes, that's right. Okay. So now, you guys, I wanted to show you just a couple of things that I, 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 I've been working on, and I wanted to tell you that, and because Kefren's actually leaving the room, I've been working on some baby things, <laughs> and I don't want her to know, and so I'm spending time that I normally cross-stitch, and I'm gonna show you one of them. I make, um, I do, I crochet around Wait, like a, man? yes, like a burp pad, because you've seen this one. <gasps> Did you finish it? Yeah. So oh this my one, pet. This is just a little burp pad, and you crochet around the edge. It's hem stitch. I can't believe you. Oh, this is scary. Oh, Ooh. dear. Oh, dear. Okay, now we're okay. We didn't want Harley to step on. And then we got this little bib. And, <gasps> Mom. And it has little stars on that side. And then it has little holes. Honestly, every time someone would have a baby in our... Like in the neighborhood. Yeah, or, in the neighborhood, she would always make these, and I always said, I want one. Yeah, so... so I can't believe my child's gonna be so little. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's a burp pad, and then I will go around. We love all things nautical and stars in this family. Yeah, so this is this is the bib, and I've gotta go around it. Show them how it's hem-stitched, so that you can crochet. Okay, is that what that's called? Yeah, it's called hem-stitching. So you'll, I'll go around it, I'll crochet around it. And um and finish off that bit. Oh! But there have been some other things that Kef is unaware of that I've been wow. working on. Wow! So I, Kefi, okay, <laughs> she's gonna wear the bit. So I have been working on that and not getting quite as much cross stitch done. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, I have been. It's like you don't want to use any of them because they're so cute. They get all. I mean, this out. is gonna get disgusting. Yes, this one will especially spaghetti. I've been thinking I need to watch like a YouTube video about how to like do a change a diaper. Okay, I'll help you. Because I that. have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's show them. These busy. babies, they don't come with instruction manuals. No instructions. Okay, busy as a bee. I've been working on. Oh busy yeah, as she a bee. has. So I've been that one. You can show. You can show that. Lizzie Kate. And I have gotten not as much done as I thought as I would on this, but I had to. Oh, I don't have the... Poor Debbie's been taking care of me. I don't have the picture. Of what? Judy, of the... She just did this little thing. Okay. The bee goes in. I have... You could just show February. I don't have the picture of February. This is another By, um, Country Cottage Needleworks. Correct. So I'm trying to get all of them done. I've done July. That's cute. Yeah, isn't it? I love the colors. It's okay. really cute. Then you can sit down. We wanted to remark and tell you that... And did I did I ever show, I showed all of this? Oh, this is the yeah, cat, you it. caterpillar cross stitch. That was the first phase of this cell, which is positivity rules. They have a Facebook page if you're doing the cell. Yeah, and then it's if you want to go www.caterpillarcrossstitch.com, and you can still get it. Yeah. But the second portion of will, the cell of the cell will be coming out tomorrow. Okay. So I'm ready to go. I finished the first part, and I'm ready to go with the second part. We love the colors. It's really a bright, happy. Well, thing. always remember COVID with yeah. such. 
fond, fond memory. Yeah. And it's, she's done a great job with the colors. So it's, she has other darling stuff on her site too. Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And she does have a Facebook page. And so I will start working on that again tomorrow when the new one comes out. So I'm going to be working mainly though now on some um, Christmas, the Christmas things and then the Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So that's what we want to talk about. Then we wanted to show you, we should have done this at the first and I forgot the we happy did. mail. did, shame on us. Okay, we got this darling. It's so cute, you guys. Would you say a hedgehog? Yes. It is so cute. And it's made out of books. It's made out of a book and I love it. It's going in my library. It will. I am so excited to take it. And we looked her up. She her sent name, it from the UK. And her name is Sarah. Yep, Sarah. And she's on Etsy. Kev, tell yes, me what the it's Etsy is. Etsy.com slash UK slash shop slash books and beaches. Book, and we'll have it in our description box. Yeah, books and beaches. So we went and looked. Um, she has a lot of jewelry that is made out of sea glass. Yes, which we love sea glass. We are way into sea glass. I And she didn't know that. No. I, we go to a beach in California. You'll have to show everyone. Yeah, called Glass Beach. Debbie's going there. I'm gonna go there in July. And so we love glass, and, and it's getting harder to find. It's a pretty good story. We'll share it with you next week about glass. Okay, so she sent this to us and so we went on the the her website, you guys, or on her Etsy page. Yeah. You guys, she makes the coolest things out of books. She can do like actual words, like summer, autumn, yeah, or, or, or like a person's name. Yeah. I I, I kid you not. It's and so, so then cute. I thought it would be cool to have her. I'm sure you could contact her and say, I need. Debbie or library know, or library wouldn't that be cute yeah because you guys it looks dimensional the it's way crazy she, it is beautiful so I may have her I've do never it. seen something like this I've seen it before at some of our library things oh and so um I may have her do like library and wouldn't so that nice of her to send it all the way from the UK she sent it to us just because she said she enjoys us but honestly, it's the nicest worth, card. it is worth going to look at her Etsy page. She said yeah. it's a darling note. And of course, I love it's I love the, the books and beaches. Debbie's two favorite things. Honestly, my it's so great. So go look her up, you guys. And Kefla will include the um the um, information below. And um let me look at our thing, Kef. Are is we that everything? Did we get through everything? We went we went long. I'm I so think. sorry. Okay. Yeah, I think we did. Um we oh we didn't do the pond but it's raining we were it's great oh it's freezing outside yeah it's what's it's, going on we have snow again up in the upper mountains and it is very rainy and cold today so we'll do days but we're grateful for the lawns oh yeah and it's and it's i mean uh, some lady called i uh, didn't call us she texted us yesterday and said it was 106 where she was gonna it was like oklahoma or somewhere oh. that's where rika is Oh, anyway, so I mean, we're not, we're not upset. We're, we need the rain. We are grateful for rain. Yeah. Yeah. So don't get us wrong. But anyway, we won't show you the pandemic. We'll pond. show you the pandemic pond next week, along with the sea glass story. Yeah. You guys, it is, the pond has really, it's turned. so cute. <clears throat> Dave has really like finished went and it got off. more fish. Yeah. He went and got two, uh, no, how many koi? One we didn't think was going to survive. Uh, it was on its last leg. The fish was like, mm, I was but, so upset. But it didn't, it made it. It still it's is. It's alive. It's alive. So anyway, and um, then he got two. Thing? Midas. Midas. Oh, the boys, our grandsons. They all named them. They named, they went with Dave to buy the fish. And then we got two koi about this big that'll get. They'll get big. They're gonna eat the other fish. I you think they would, but they don't. But anyway, so we he bought like six more fish. So altogether, we probably have eighteen fish in the pond now. It's a wild pond. Anyway, so we'll show that to you next week. All right, Kef, I think okay. we did it. Did All we right? talk your ears off? Yeah, we're so sorry. Are you sad? Did we make you sad? We hope not. We are sorry. We should we have filled you with excitement because of all the things that are to come yes there will be a european things. retreat that's right i didn't even know myself <laughs> it needs to happen yeah okay all right you guys thanks for spending some time with us this week we appreciate what we hope you're all safe and taking care of yourselves and we will see you next week see you bye, bye.